Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be doing some running around and included in that running around is some Lego shopping. It's October, so that means it's Bricktober. So our first stop is actually Toys R Us to pick up the new Bricktober promo. So it looks like we got the advertisement right here in the Lego department. So you're gonna get the Lego Pirate Adventure ride when you spend $80 before taxes on any Lego. And this is available from the 29th of September to the 12th of September. And I believe there's four different promos that are going to run throughout Bricktober. I was thinking about picking up one of these because this is going to be retiring soon. But that's $10 higher than the LEGO suggested retail price. Uh, we've got some cool idea stuff here. All of that stuff you can get from the LEGO store, right? For relatively the same price. There are some vehicles on sale here. Regular $66. I just don't know if I need any of these Technic pullback vehicles. There's also the McLaren Senna on sale right here for $60. Right down here we got uh, the Speed Champion set, which is the Mopar Dodge. It's like the uh, uh, dragster. I don't think this one has done too well, but it is on sale. It's $10 off. I did see those on sale at the Lego store for quite some time as well. Oh, there's some more stuff on sale down here as well. We've got the 3-in-1 uh, Medieval Castle there for $123, regular $145. And then uh, down here we've got the pirate ship for 144.47 uh, on from 170, which isn't too bad. Also the Ferris wheel for uh, about 100 bucks there. And up here we have the Caravan Family Holiday on sale as well. So there's some deals to be had here in the three-in-one department. Included in that is the Tiger. I just cross-referenced the Lego website and this is actually greasy right here because this is normally 150. So the deal is actually not that good. So the problem is, is there's not really anything that I need other than like base plates for the under table scene because I stole them for the winter village. This set right here is about 80 bucks. I could get that one. It comes with some cool minifigures there. And I foresee this one doing well over time because of those minifigures. Also this one down here might do well because of the artillery stormtrooper. But I think I'm gonna put that one back. That's what I grabbed originally. And I think I'm just gonna grab one of these here. I just think getting base plates would be sort of boring. And I think this one is retiring relatively soon. And those minifigures are really radical. I don't really need anything as the problem, but I really want the promo because the promo will go really good in the amusement park. And I don't think putting one of these away is the end of the world. So that actually worked out perfectly there. Toys R Us actually did me a favor because this is $79.99 at the Lego store, but they marked it up to $80.99. So that exceeded the $80 for me to get this really cool promo. Look at this packaging. It's actually really nice. So this is the Pirate Adventure Ride. It's 169 pieces. So the packaging is completely different. It flips open like that there. Your instructions were in this little sleeve here. And that's what it looks like in the final product. You see why I wanted that for the amusement park? It's not like a micro scale thing like last year. It's actually a really cool ride. There's going to be four of them. So I figured I needed this. <laughs> like that's just really neat value, I think. Pick up this set and get that for free. I value that promo probably at like $30, I would say. I think that's a $30 promo all day long. Comes with like a pirate minifigure. It's a little bit of a ride, you know? Way better than the uh, micro scale amusement park uh, promos that they did last year. So my next stop here is actually Southgate Shopping Center. And here they have a Lego store. It's actually my old stomping ground. I used to come here all the time. I'm hoping to pick up a Bowser for myself. Yes, I ended up getting lucky. So they did have the Bowser, plus they had this set on 30% off. And I just figured, you know what? I'm gonna get that for the Winter Village because look at all the skaters and all the winter style stuff and all the white plate. I think we can integrate that into the Winter Village quite nicely. So I think there's some good parts in there. And it was like $110, I think, and there's 1,520 pieces. And look at all those minifigures on the bottom. And then I went to the pab wall here and I found white plate. Now I know I recently bought a bunch of white plate, but I ran out when I was building that winter village. So I'm gonna fill, I think just one cup. I think that's all I need right now, but I'm definitely happy to see that they have it here on the pad wall. And they actually have lots. So there's that bin, there's another bin to the left there, and then there's another bin right here. They also have these small little fences here too, which I think will work nicely for something. Like that's actually a super cool set. Look at the fish underneath the ice. Just the ice technique using those like really neat colored panels is fantastic. Plus it has like that ice slide right there with all of those 
transparent elements in that color or that uh, snow covered tree on the left. I'm actually super happy that I picked that up today for 30% off. It's always nice coming to this Lego store. It's just a little bit different, a little more compact. The staff are super chill. It's pretty awesome. They've got some nice stuff on display. I love this Batman in the front window. We actually have that Batman that we've got to build. And I also like that Rolling Stones art. Pretty cool how it's like 3D. So there's my Lego haul. Now I'm at the store next door, which is the Jersey store. I should buy myself another Oilers t-shirt. Holy smokes, it is absolutely gorgeous out. From what I remember, it should not be this nice in Edmonton for October, like in October, you know what I mean? But I mean, I don't even remember where I parked, so don't trust me with that, I guess, but just beautiful out. It is t-shirt and shorts weather right now in October, and I am loving it. So my original intention was to go to Toys R Us, the Lego store in the Brickyard. I was gonna go to the Brickyard to get more white plate from the pad wall, but like we just got two stacks of white plate from those two cups and all those fence elements. So I don't think I need any more white plate after that, especially when you factor in that set in there as well. I might go to another Toys R Us because we have like multiple Toys R Us's here in Edmonton. So I might go to another Toys R Us, see if there's anything that tickles my fancy or anything that's on sale to pick up another one of these promos. I just think that's a super cool promo that dominates last year's promos. I literally just can't get over this weather though. Like this is incredible. I guess it's only 19 degrees. It doesn't feel 19 degrees with the sun though. It feels 25 degrees. Woo! I should go sit on a patio is what I should do. I couldn't say no to this guy. They actually have a sale on and I didn't see this at the uh, other Toys R Us. It's 15% off all of the Minecraft Technic Creator and Speed Champion sets that are valued over 50 bucks. That's not bad though, from what I read, I mean, all the Technic ones are included. So the Porsche 911 RSR is included. Oh, I think I know why. The sale's on here though, and it wasn't on at the other store. That's because they're out of this week's Bricktober promo. So I don't think I'm gonna get anything. 15% off, decent themes, I guess. The Speed Champions, I think of all those themes is the best and the creator, but there's not really any good creator sets here. I mean, 15% off a modular building would be excellent, but I don't think they have any here from what I see, at least. All $50 and up LEGO Speed Champions. Okay, so of all of these sets, there's one Speed Champion set on sale. Tell me how that's a good deal. None of the other ones are on sale. <laughs> what a joke of a sale, that's hilarious. Walmart's right next door to Toys R Us, so I decided I'll come have a look here too. Wasn't worth my time. <laughs> I should pick up one of these though for our Halloween decorations. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, he talks. No way. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. He talks and lights up. Take a little walk together. But wait. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> Look at those skeletons up there. That's a cool decoration. And there's my buddy. Mrs. Brixie and I, we go all in for Christmas, but we do nothing for Halloween. Like I don't have any Halloween decorations at all. I think the hard thing is storing all of this stuff away when it's not being used. You know what I mean? Like Christmas stuff, it takes up a lot of space to have Christmas and Halloween would be a bit much. I would consider getting some of these for like the backyard. That's where we put our Frosty the Snowman last year. So when we're in the hot tub, we're like, woo, there's Frosty the Snowman. But I wouldn't mind getting some reindeer or something like that, maybe. And I think if we were to do Halloween decorations, it'd be more like this stuff here. It's more so like autumn decoration. It just sort of looks good and a little more friendly, you know? It's not, uh, as evil as that guy over there. Here we go, look at this friendly gentleman outside of the Walmart, he's playing the accordion. That's pretty awesome. Thanks man, have a great day. Not a bad little haul, that's for sure. Woo, some good stuff in there. I'm really excited about that Winter Village, not Winter Village set, but the Lunar New Year set. And then all of these pieces, that's gonna be super cool. 
So I am going to be building a mountain over here in that corner. So I'm going to be raising up that gingerbread house. I don't know. I might have to reduce some space here. Like the roads take up a lot of space. I might have to custom build the roads to just make them narrower. But I don't know if I want to make them any narrower than that. And I don't know if I want to remove the road altogether. I don't know if I'm going to use like white brick and rock panels and stuff like that. Just to raise up the gingerbread house. I think that'll look pretty cool. Hey, you want to see what happens when you let people into your Lego room? Mm-hmm. There's my lightsaber. Smashed. I had it command stripped right there and somebody thought they could sneak through here and it's like, no, you can't go through there. There's there's super star destroyers and star destroyers and lightsabers there. You can't go through there. That's that's not that's not what this is about. Uh you gotta be careful when you're down here. <laughs> this is my Lego. <laughs> but yeah, uh now I can build my Bowser and also build that Lunar New Year set. And then we got this. Plus that uh, awesome amusement park thing from when we started building the amusement park. So that's cool. Yeah, so it was a good day, actually. A good little haul there. And I'm actually filming this on October 1st. So earlier this morning, I was at the Lego store. And I bought a different Bowser. <laughs> so I got two Bowsers today. Also, I bought that Christmas tree. I don't know where the heck that went. But there's a Christmas tree for... Over there as well. Did I lose that already? Where did it go? I don't know where my Christmas tree went. It must be upstairs. I don't know. It should be... should be down... Oh, it's over there. Okay, good. Whew. But yeah, now I'm going to build that Christmas tree too. Uh, I'm probably going to continue building the bowling alley tonight. I have no idea when this video is going to be released, but I'm going to continue building the bowling alley. I'm going to finish the bowling alley tonight. Maybe even when you're watching this video, it's already built, reviewed, and placed in the city. Really excited about that. And then I got to build the Bowser. I think that's like high on my list of wanting to build. Everybody, thank you so much for coming by. I wanted to uh, share the experience on this beautiful October Saturday. Have yourselves a great day. And remember to like and subscribe. Farewell.